My LCS is shut down. What's it been like? Yankee stacking during crisis and criticism. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Really appreciate you guys, as always, watching my channel, checking out my videos. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out the description of my videos. I include a lot of uh, links in there, some other information that you might find interesting. So, yes, it's shutdown time, guys. A lot of you out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Local coin shops shut down all over the place. Obviously, the uh, inventories are small, um, prices are high, and well, you know, it's been a real challenge. The other thing that's been a real challenge is my last video. Oh my word, I'll, I'll put it right up there if you haven't seen it, but oh my goodness. I got, wow, over 20,000 views on that video. I really appreciate that, but I totally triggered people. <laughs> the silver bugs went nuts on me. I Frankly, I got some hate out of it. Um, granted, most of what I got was probably people that, you know, are new to my channel, you know, don't know Yankee, don't know, you know, stacking the Yankee way and all that, right? They they, they, they came in, <laughs> they maybe even didn't listen to the whole video or maybe even didn't even listen to it at all, just saw the, you know, the title of it and just went off. How dare you say that about silver? What's wrong with you? Haven't you ever heard of the gold to silver ratio, Yankee? This is an outrage. You call yourself a stacker. That's it. I'm unsubscribing. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. That was um, not exactly what I expected. I did expect some people to think I was joking. Yes, it came out on April 1st. I get it. My good friend Silver Dragons dropped a phenomenally funny video. And I think when they saw mine, they said, hmm, Yankees pulling my leg. <laughs> <laughs> but it was legit, maybe sort of a, a double fake, okay? But, oh my goodness, I had, I just couldn't believe what I got. You would have thought that I literally hate this stuff, that I don't want to stack it, that I, you know, want to sell all my silver. I had some people telling me, hey, Yankee, if you don't want to have silver, fine, I'll buy it, you idiot. <laughs> it's like, whoa, I'm not selling one single ounce. Okay, I love silver, but I'm done focusing on silver right now. And I gave the reasons, I'm not going to go into it, but geez, you, I guess, I guess if I, if I don't sleep with this stuff, I'm somehow an unfaithful stacker, right? I, you know, if I'm, I'm buying gold instead of, you know, this, I'm, you know, cheating on my stack, <laughs> It's like precious metals infidelity. Oh, my word. <sighs> Just let me go on record <laughs> as saying I do love silver. I see its worth, its value. I understand uh, that it's a good thing to stack. And I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ounces of this stuff, okay? So enough with the hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's just amazing. Um, you know, I let me just say a few, uh, maybe I don't know, uh, two or three more things about silver that I neglected to mention in my uh, I'm done video. Okay, and then what we'll do is I'll uh, show you the interesting uh, visit that I had with Tim, my local coin shop dealer, um, under the current medical crisis that we're in and um you know and i'll show you what i got because i'm really happy about it it's um oh it's exciting and while i said i was done with silver as a focus of my stack and of buying um i did pick up a couple silver items so i will show those to you as well Okay, because I mean, it was just fun ice cream cone silver, as I call it. So let me address a few um, comments and, and uh, questions, emails that I got uh, about uh, silver. Okay, I said silver was 
not a monetary metal. It was primarily an industrial metal, and I still hold to that. Okay, so don't, don't, you know, quote me. Uh, was it Article One, Section Ten of the Constitution? I get, uh, you know, silver and gold's place in our Constitution and how it's real money. I, I thoroughly understand that. Okay, um, but. Just because it's in the Constitution doesn't mean that our government honors that. It is not seen as much as a monetary metal. It really isn't. Do I believe one day it will be? Yes. Do I hope it is? Yes. It's one of the reasons why I stack it. Uh, it's just um, it, it's just not seen that way right now. Um, it's much more of an industrial metal. Gold is more of a monetary metal. Some people were saying, yeah, but Yankee, you were saying that silver's barter between uh, people and gold barter between nations. Actually, it was Tim who coined that phrase. Uh, and then they were like, well, uh, that's what I'm stacking it for. I want it to be barter between people. I need it to be that way. Well, yeah, absolutely. That's why I, I stack constitutional silver so much. It's fantastic barter between people or potentially barter amongst people. Totally agree. Um, and oh, my word, the GSR. Yankee, what's wrong with you? Don't you understand the gold to silver ratio? <laughs> why are you stacking gold? It's so expensive. Well, I've done videos on why I believe gold is actually inexpensive right now. Uh, and I also have addressed many times why uh, or what I believe the uh, natural gold to silver ratio should be, in my opinion, in modern, uh, uh, you know, economies, economies that are not backed or their currency is not backed by gold and silver. So I don't discount the gold to silver ratio. I understand it. It's, again, it's a smaller reason why I stack silver because, you know, I think silver is a uh, a good play. It, it's It's undervalued. It's cheap in some ways. But I do not flip or I should say, I do not play the ratio. When I buy silver, it's to keep silver. When I buy gold, it's to keep gold. I have a very uh, a focused way of stacking, and I stack both gold and silver for particular reasons. For me, in the future, I see silver as potential barter material for supplies. First, I'm sure if we have a complete collapse, you know, an SHTF situation, it's going to be supplies for supplies. But eventually, that's going to be un, uh, untenable. We, we won't be able to continue doing that. We're going to need some sort of currency. And I do believe that silver will fit the bill there. But gold will also be a massive store of wealth. And small fractional gold pieces could also be bartered or at the very least bartered for more silver. So... Silver for supplies, gold with silver, you, you get my strategy there, okay? So I do believe that both have a role to play. And finally, the funny thing was, <laughs> people were like, dude, you're after a Yankee musket with maples? <laughs> They're Canadian, eh? What's wrong with you, Yankee? <laughs> yeah, that's un-American. <laughs> Oh wow, that was that was funny. I think most of the comments around that were just to just to tease me. That that's perfectly fine. But um, I live in New Hampshire. Okay, I'm I'm a border state with our our friends to the north. I love Canadian coinage. I I do. I plead guilty. Okay, it doesn't make me un-American. <laughs> I I see maple leaves in 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 our, my pocket change. Right. Anytime you live close to the border, you're going to see that. And I do, I don't care what anybody says, I do think that that maple leaf is iconic. I promise not to flip this over, but because uh, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the, of the um, obverse, but these are great. In fact, just a side note, these are 2018 Canadian maple leaves, silver, I might add. <laughs> and uh, boy, I'll tell you, they are in good shape. I think they are quite lactose intolerant. <laughs> Very happy with these uh, 2018s. So, yeah, I, I absolutely love uh, the Canadian maple leaf design. Okay. It also, you know, fits in with my uh, Yankee stacking strategy of, of, of purchasing um, 
primarily government bullion closest to where you live and, and most recognizable uh, with where you live, okay? So, I mean, if you live in Europe, you know, you get you know, the silver Cougarans or the Philharmonics or you, you could, you know, buy a lot of different uh, government minted silver bullion uh, closer to where you live. For me, you know, I have a whole monster box full of American silver eagles. And the first tubes that I got uh, as a stacker were these, two, 2018 uh, Canadian Maple Leafs. Love them. So, yeah, that fits. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing it. But, you know, gold. Gold is what I really, really wanted to focus on. And uh, I wanted 24 karat gold this time. Four nines, fine. Four nines, okay? I, I have nothing at all against the American gold eagle. Love the American gold eagle. My first gold that I ever bought as a stacker, was the Yankee Cannon. You know what that is, right? It's 22 karat gold, and it's a whole tube of American gold eagles. You know, uh, one ounce. Now, I can't just go and buy one ounce of gold uh, as easily as I am uh, you know, did when I bought that tube. So I wanted to get fractional gold. And I wanted an entire tube of 24 karat this time. So I love the Canadian Maple Leafs, you know, um, they're just, they're just gorgeous. And I had four of them. So I, I stacked four and I thought, wow, that's a, that's a good beginning. I actually don't know how many are in a tube. I, I should take that back. There isn't <laughs> a standard tube size for the quarter ounce Canadian Maple Leaf. Found that out. The Royal Canadian Mint doesn't have a tube for that. So I guess I can pick you know, pick how many quarter ounce Canadian maples make up a tube for me, right? I don't know, 20, 25, I'm not sure. But anyways, I was going with the maples and I'm going to call it a Yankee musket. <laughs> I don't care if they're Canadian maple leaves, all right? <laughs> so that said, I will show you what I purchased, both gold and a little bit of silver at the end of this video. So hang tight, don't stop watching. Right now, let's cut to my visit to a closed local coin shop. Well, Tim gave me the text uh, last night saying he was going to go to his wholesaler and see if he could pick up some fractional gold for me, specifically uh, gold Canadian maple leaves. So he texted me this morning, said he had them. He said, hide them, <laughs> I'm coming in. <laughs> Coming in with my gloves and my mask. Ooh. Guess. Are you closed? Technically, yeah. Uh... Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to. We're gonna do this unofficially, right? Well, officially, unofficially. Wow. I see silver. I see oh, silver pandas. pandas. Still you still have pandas. Well, look at that. I am picking up um, 200 buffaloes. 200 buffaloes? buffaloes? Yeah. 200? <clears throat> Wait a minute. Um, they're gonna be a little pricey, but. When you don't have anything, you can't really control the price. So. Oh, man. Uh, and I picked up, um, let's see, these beauty pieces. I have to admit, I'm glad you're wearing a mask. Oh, my gosh, these things are heavy. <laughs> what is this, bars? Yeah, I was able to get these for a customer. They, uh, oh. they turned out to be 1875 a piece. Canadian Royal Canadian Mint. Shh. Can I hold one? Sure. Just don't drop it on the I... bars. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, that's a bar. That is amazing. I think this <laughs> emptied the pipeline. That's my guess. This emptied the pipeline. No, I, uh, no more, huh? They're already uh, they're reserved for someone who's ordered are, them, huh? Yep, they're going to come down from Maine, I guess, sometime this afternoon. Maine. 
just like these were reserved for me. That's right. All right. Oh, man, that is awesome. Four of them. Man, does he, did he have a lot of this, or did was this it? I think he had, he said he had four more. That was it. Well, all right, let's, uh, let's do it. I'm actually, uh, I want to shout out another overtax taxpayer. Dude, this is for you, all right? Here's the gold envelope. He told us, he challenged us all to fill the gold envelope as much as we can and use it to buy gold. And that's what I'm going to do right now. All right, it's bulging. I got I to gotta open it up. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. All right. Yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but as you know, it's been a challenge to get this stuff. Should I buy some silver while I'm at it? That's the question. Um, you know, I probably yeah. have a silver round or two. That's what I've been doing is just cleaning out this office. And I keep finding things, so <laughs> that's the good part of it. What what silver do you have? Just rounds? Um, well, I have an order for uh, two rolls of Morgans, so okay. I've got to put those together tonight. Um, a lot of junk. And I'm getting the rounds. I don't. I don't know when they're going to be. Okay. In, but they they should be in, um, by Monday maybe Monday or Tuesday. Is it loosening up just a little bit? Uh, well, I probably mentioned to you before. My wholesaler is pretty aggressive. Yep. And I I had one situation where he, the material was in Pennsylvania. He literally hopped in his Corvette and drove down to pick it up. If it was in a Corvette, I think it wouldn't have been an inconvenience for me. <laughs> so I can't get a little uh, white metal today, huh? Uh, let's see. If th that one is 45% of a troy ounce, I think. Okay. Uh, that's a troy ounce. That one is a troy ounce. And let's see what's over here. This is something that was put out by MTB Banking. MTB Banking was one of the biggest distributors of uh, silver coins and bars back in the day. That's a trade unit. It should be one ounce of uh, pure silver. Hmm. So I'm getting a lot of flack from the community for not uh, buying any silver, so I'm going to buy this. <laughs> I did a video yesterday. It was like, I'm done. I'm done stacking silver for a while. All I want is gold. And they're like, what? Are you crazy? No. All right. There you go, sir. And you really should open. You want me to turn this sign around? I mean, um, I can... No. No, we've been told we have to stay closed. <laughs> yeah, you better stay closed. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Hey, stay safe. Stay well. Isn't that cool? I really appreciate Tim. It's so neat that he'd open it up and hold that gold for me. In fact, there they are right here. Oh, man. This one, it's the older style. The younger queen, which, you know, as far as queens go, that isn't that bad, right? Doesn't have the uh, radial lines, doesn't have the security marks in it. But uh, it's a 1982. Mm, yummy. Here's the 2016. I'll flip that over. This one does have the security features. Privy mark, radial lines. Very nice. Uh, another one. This one is, uh, again, 2016. And another 1986. Young Queen. So four. So I'm going to slap these in to some of these. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to figure out the way I should handle this. I, I usually don't buy, um, you know, those, those tubes that hold the uh, um, coin capsules. <laughs> I love that sound. Getting all the air out. Yeah, so I, I usually don't um, do that because it, it adds to your overall um, cost, right? And I did get these for a great cost, or great price, I should say. So um, I, I think, though, you know, 24 karat is very soft, okay? That's one of the benefits of the, uh, whoops, of the uh, 22 karat American Gold Eagle. That one is uh, those are, are tougher. 
Okay, they can handle, uh, you know, more uh, handling than a 24 karat. 24 karat's very soft. You got to be really careful with it that you don't ding it, you know, mark it, that type of thing. And I do care about my precious metals, so <laughs> I don't want to do that to these gorgeous bullion pieces. Man, they, they're just so much heavier than you realize at this size. Wow. So I do think this is going to warrant a coin capsule tube. Now I have to, again, decide how many I'm going to put in that tube. Actually, I wonder if there is a specific number uh, for a quarter ounce um, coin capsule. Maybe that will dictate how many I have to get to technically get the musket. <clears throat> but I also wanted something a little less um, thick for a musket, if you know what I mean. I mean, it's going to be as big or bigger than the cannon. So I might, I might have to rethink it. But I do like being able to protect it inside a coin capsule. Hmm. So, yeah. You know, I was thinking more about why people got all upset and triggered over gold rather than silver. You know, we uh, sometimes have uh, confirmation bias. We, we really do want people to agree. I mean, I shoot, I, want, I like it when people agree with me. But you can't be fixated on that. Everyone has their own opinion, and that's fine. Everyone stacks a different way. Um, I know I tout stacking the Yankee way, and it's one of the reasons why I stop at a quarter ounce gold bullion because one of the things that is, one of the principles of my stacking strategy is to try to reduce the premiums. Um, you might say, well, then, Yankee, why don't you go a full ounce? Well, I. Maybe I'm just not quite as patient as you. <laughs> That's a lot to purchase uh, at one whack. And if I was extremely wealthy, maybe that's exactly how I would do it. But I also wanted my strategy to not just fit me, but to be um, just reachable by a lot of different people. So I thought, let's do fractional gold. Plus, as a prepper stacker, um, it would be a lot easier to barter and convert this to uh, silver in an SHTF situation. So I'm willing to pay some premium, some. Anything less than a quarter for me, the premiums start to get really out, out of whack. So that's where I uh, stopped at a quarter. Um, also, another key principle in stacking the Yankee way is stacking dense. I forgot to mention that um, as one of the reasons why I was focusing more right now, temporarily, <laughs> on gold. Uh, because, you know, I, I forget it sometimes. But people mentioned in the comments uh, that stacking dense or dense stacking uh, approach. And it is important uh, for me, again, as a prepper stacker, to have a smaller stack physically. I, you know... Yeah, I'm amazed and in awe of people who can spread out, you know, 20 feet, 30 feet worth of stacked silver. It's incredible. I enjoy looking at that. I admire it. But frankly, I want to be able to pick up as much of my wealth as possible and be able to transport it, be able to hide it, be able to, you know, contain it and not have it be such an unwieldy mass of precious metals. So I'm, I'm playing a balancing uh, act there between silver and gold. I have focused pretty hard on that silver to get the monster box. And then when I held it and I saw it, I was like, okay, come back, Yankee. <laughs> Think dense stacking, right? <laughs> so again, that's the other uh, focus, or other reason why gold is such a great way to stack because it really does uh, hold your wealth in a very small area. Is silver worth stacking? Yes. <laughs> it is a more speculative uh, stacking approach. Uh, and if you're older, like Yankee, you might not want to be quite as speculative <laughs> with your stacking. Um, you might be willing to forego the potential 
uh, high uh, return, if you will, with silver and focus more on a more stable precious metal asset like gold. Or like me, you balance the two. Oh, oh, I almost forgot the other silver. Okay, okay, okay. Let's move this gold out of the way. And let me show you, uh, well, first, let me show you this little beauty. Holy mackerel. Yeah, that's the big one, guys. That's the 2019S. Enhanced Reverse Proof. This was sent to me by Fiat Destroyer just to rub it in. <laughs> he and pretty much everybody else that follows my channel knows that I blew it by not, you know, what, canceling my uh, my meeting at work, telling the boss to, to, to take a hike and because I had to buy this thing right in the middle of the day. No, I didn't do that. So I missed out on this. <laughs> and uh, he was really nice enough to send this to me in a wonderful package. Uh <laughs> where he wanted me to open it live so that everybody in the community would realize that he was just lending this to me to oogle and hold before he wanted it back. So he gave me 10 bucks to send it back. Very nice of him to do that. And I am, after this video, packaging this up and sending it back. But that is just unreal. Love that piece of silver. Uh, and the other two <laughs> pieces, uh, you saw this one in the video, the Liberty Trade Dollar. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit closer so you can see it. 1985, I didn't know much about this, but I was very, very impressed. Uh, Johnson Matthew, J oh, sorry, JM right there, you can see that. So, wow. And then on the reverse, right there you can see Whoops, back off. A gorgeous torch. Again, this is uh, Johnson Matthew. I think Engelhard made one of these. You'll see an E on the reverse. Th these are pretty cool. Very nice. This is uncirculated. It's not there. I think there's some proof out there, but this is the uncirculated version. He gave it to me for a, a pretty reasonable price. So thought maybe <laughs> you could placate some of the uh, silver bugs out there that hate me. <laughs> See, I bought silver. <laughs> uh, and then the last thing, uh, I showed this uh, uh, on the Coast to Coast show, but for some of you that might not have seen it, um, this is really cool. Nice velvet case. Look at that. Bugs Bunny. Happy birthday, Bugs. That is just so cool. Oh, man, growing up, I loved Looney Tunes. I Shoot, I've been memorized these uh, cartoons when I was a kid. I'd get up on Saturday morning and, and watch them. Hey, put it in the comment. Uh, let me know uh, if you remember getting up on Saturday morning to watch these cartoons. This, this is a 1990, celebrating 50 years of Bugs Bunny, his 50th uh, birthday. So what? We're at the 80th birthday right now. That's... <laughs> That's incredible. So really cool round. That's so nice. On the other side, <laughs> I go, what's up, Doc? I mean, I mean, that's that's cool, right? That's a fun ice cream cone when it comes to stacking silver. Really enjoyed it. And I had to get it. So there you have it. There's my silver and gold pickup. I appreciate you watching. Again, like, subscribe, check out the description, leave a comment. Do you still think Yankee hates silver? <laughs> Do you still think I'm making a mistake with gold? Well, I hope not. But regardless, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.